reason that I, I still have a passion to reach the entire world for Jesus is because I'm still very grateful for what Jesus did for me. Is there anybody here tonight that is grateful for what Jesus Christ has done for you? I don't know if you're grateful, but I am still very, very grateful for the grace of God over my life, for His chance and His mercy over my life. I should not be where I'm at. I'm not talking about being a pastor. I'm not talking about being a leader. I'm not talking about being a missionary. I'm talking about the blood of Jesus Christ that has covered my sin because I would be in hell right now for eternity if I were to die. And I thank God for my salvation. Is there anybody else that understands what I'm saying? I'm grateful that there's still more that God wants us to do and he wants to light Christians on fire in these last days he wants to pour out fire on the Christians that say God anoint my life because I don't want to just be a Sunday morning Christian I want to be somebody that is counted on when Jesus needs my life because I am a mission minded faithful person and at times I am willing to fight for the work of Jesus Christ I am willing to work for the gospel to be spread all over the world See, Timothy was coming against all kinds of madness, but he fought for the city. He fought for the city. He fought under pagan worship. He, he fought under, the, you know, all these different spirits that were taking place at the time. In other words, what God had called him to do, he had to learn how to keep his faith. There's nothing better than Jesus. I don't know if you know that or not, but there's nothing better than Jesus. Uh, I know they're legalizing marijuana, but there's nothing better than Jesus. I know at 21 you can drink a beer, but there's nothing better than Jesus. Jesus.